Danny Segura for MMAJunkie.com. I'm here with 2019 PFL lightweight, women's lightweight champion, Kayla Harrison. Uh, Kayla, um, big fight coming up, obviously, in the main event here of the PFL playoffs. You're, you're facing off against uh, Jenna Fabian in the semifinal of, of this season. Um, how do you feel going into this bout? You, are, you got 10 fights clocked in already. This will be your event. It feels like sort of this, uh, you know, this exciting, you know, prospect, Kayla and sort of lay boys, it's just it's stripped off. It's just Kayla Harrison. Do you feel at that point that like your initial stages of learning in, in the mix? Obviously, there's always a lot to learn, but do you feel like you're, you're sort of past the initial stages? Yeah, I think I'm no longer just a hype train. You know, I think now it's a Kayla train. It's, it's not hype if you back it up. And I feel like I've backed up every single um, opportunity I, I've been given. I've gone out there and I've annihilated opponents. I think... Um, the goal was always to be so good that you couldn't ignore me, and I'm well on my way. Yeah. And you've obviously been very busy. I know 2020 wasn't your favorite year, but you still got some fights in. Um, how happy have you been with your progression, 10 fights in? Uh, are you where you're at, where you wanted to be at, you know, uh, starting this uh, career? I mean, it's hard to, you know, I didn't necessarily have a, a great idea of where I would be 10 fights in just because I had never done it before. You know, it, it was all new to me, all... Uh, uncharted waters so I'm very pleased with where I'm at but I'm always looking to be better I'll, always striving um, you know I'm chasing greatness I'm not I'm not chasing anybody but myself and uh, I'm working to be great every day yeah. and this uh, Jaina Fabian bout obviously a, a semi-final bout as they mentioned um, ha have you gotten time to study her I know obviously you come from a very good gym do you just leave that to your coaches if so can you break us down your your opponent um yeah, well, we were supposed to fight in 2019. She had a bad weight cut, and, and we weren't able to fight in the semifinals there. So this is a matchup I've been preparing for for a while. Um, I've watched her tapes. I've watched, I've watched her fights this year. She, she looks good. She's a tall southpaw striker. I'm a short southpaw grappler. It's going to be who goes out there and instills their will, you know. Um, I have no – I have no uh, – I'm confident everywhere. I'm not worried if it stays on the feet. I'm not worried if I don't get a, a takedown. I'm confident everywhere, but I – um, I plan on going out there and instilling my will. Yeah. And uh, you mentioned the weight cut here. Um, she's probably the biggest opponent you, you've faced in your career as far as size. Um, are you kind of excited to get that new look or a new challenge, right? Because she's very tall. Uh, certainly a, a different opponent than, than you've versed in the past. Well, actually, her replacement in the semifinals of 2019 was Bobby Joe. Um, that's the girl she lost to. Um, so she was also a six foot tall Southpaw striker. Um, and that's who Jenna lost to her, her one loss. So I don't think she's the biggest. I don't, I mean, I think she's big, but have you seen these things? Yeah, you you see that, you see those yeah, things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She keeps saying that she's got a team of scientists and she's big. She's a true 155 er I used to fight. I used to do judo at 175 pounds. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like I'm like this little thing. Um, and it doesn't matter. Izzy couldn't stop my takedowns. It doesn't matter. I don't care how big you are. Big trees fall hard. Yeah, certainly. And, and you're a huge favorite entering this fight. I mean, almost any fight that you're involved in, you're a big favorite here in, in PFL. Um, how do you maintain motivation through that? Because it almost seems like people feel like even with a bad day, Kayla Harrison is going to run through her competition. Well, that's the goal, you know. I, I want to be the best in the world on my worst day. And that means I train hard. That means I prepare properly. And, and I don't look for anything to motivate me externally. I'm motiv motivated from within. You know, I have a deep burning desire to be the best in the world at what I do. And every day that gets me out of bed. I don't hit the snooze button. I don't cheat. I don't skip practices. I don't skip sessions. I don't, I, I do extra and I go extra because that's how bad I want it. I don't care if I'm the underdog or the heavy favorite. It doesn't matter. I'm here to do one thing and one thing only, and that's be the best. Yeah, certainly. And uh, a lot of the talk also um, entering this season has been surrounding not only your fights, but outside of it. Obviously, this is the last season on your contract with PFL. Um, have you thought about much about your future moving forward? I know you're focused on the tournament, but uh, does your mind ever wonder about, you know, the possibilities out there? I mean... It's just a, it's one of those things where I know that if I go out and I do my job to the best of my ability and, and I go out and kick ass, then good things are going to happen. Everything's going to fall into place. What's meant to be will be. I truly believe everything happens for a reason, but my job is to win fights. That's it. And uh, on the other side of the bracket, we have uh, Larissa Pacheco, who you know very well, fighting Taylor Cuadal. Um, what are your thoughts on that bout and who do you think will be, make it to the final? Um... Yeah, I mean, I think it's a it's an interesting fight. You know, 
Larissa has obviously shown she's got a lot of power. I think uh, she looks good. She looks sharp. But Taylor's gritty. She's tough. She's hard to beat. I think if she, if she can wear Larissa down, then we might see a new opponent. Selfishly, I'd like for a new opponent. Um, I feel like all Larissa does is try and survive. So I'd like to fight someone new, get a, get a different challenge. But my gut instinct says Larissa. But it's a fight. We'll see. Anything can happen. Certainly. All right, uh, Kayla, looking forward to that fight. Obviously, big fight here in the main event of the PFL playoffs against Gina Fabian. Best of luck and looking forward to your fight. Thank you so much.